Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, Corsair Let's Play live stream. Um, I'm Adam, one of your pseudo hosts, I guess, from Corsair. Uh, and today we're checking out Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Uh, super excited to play this game. Uh, one, because I love Borderlands, and two, I'm an avid D&D nerd. Uh, and this is like the holy matrimony of what you can get out of a great partnership like this. So super excited about that. But I know some of you have been waiting a while in chat. Uh, during the countdown, and I've got something super exciting to talk about uh, for especially those that are here now at the start of this live stream. Uh, I'm talking graphics cards. Okay, we're going to start out the gate with that. Now, we know graphics cards are very hard to get uh, at this point. Um, everybody's trying to get them, uh, and I'm excited to say that we have a 3070 Ti bundle that's available now on our website and limited quantity at, wait for it, MSRP. No crazy markup, no no inflation, anything like that. We have a few available. Very, very excited about it. Uh, there will be links in the chat on where you can go to. So if you want to get your hands on some GPUs, uh, yeah, check it out there. I believe it's Corsair.com slash 370Ti bundle. Um, but uh, it's not just me playing the game. I have some wonderful, wonderful guests with me that I'd love to introduce. Um, so why don't I kick it over to Vanessa uh, from Elgato. Vanessa, why don't you uh, say hello? Hi, I'm Vanessa. Um, I run our Elgato social media channels, and uh, I've also been playing D&D for a while, so I'm pretty excited to be here. Yeah, uh, this is I'm, uh, this is going to be amazing. Um, <laughs> and we have a, a guest of honor um, joining us, someone who I know is a super big fan of the Borderlands series uh, and uh, is uh, super talented. Uh, and I, that's Ice Rocker. Ice Rocker, you want to say hello? I was going to say, is that is that is that Adam or is it me? Yeah. <laughs> Could be either one of us at this point. It's, it's, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you guys so much for having me on. I, I am. I'm super excited. Uh, this is this is this is my jam. It's D and D. It's Borderlands. It's it's Corsair. It's all of you guys. I'm so excited. I'm. Oh God. This is this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's super great to have, especially if we have problems or issues, uh, you know, in terms of, you know, beating a boss or, you know, just general, I, I can just say, hey, what are we doing wrong? And I'm expecting <laughs> you to have the plan all figured out. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, you know, we'll figure it out <laughs> a lot of one points. way or another. You saw how I played it in the intro. OK, just oh, just yeah. hit it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just so. hit it. And just keep going. <laughs> just, just hit it. Um, uh, great. And then uh, our last uh, guest that I want to introduce uh, from Origin uh, is another Adam. Uh, and so uh, other Adam, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Yeah, it's not confusing at all. We have two Adams on the on the call. But uh, hey, guys, my name is Adam. I uh, am the Influencer and Partnerships Coordinator with Origin PC. Uh, I'm pretty stoked to be here. This is my first time ever actually appearing on, on the Corsair channel. So uh, I'm really excited and I uh, can't wait. Awesome. Well, that's uh, everyone, but I think, uh, you know, I talked a little bit about the uh, bundle earlier, but Adam, I think you might want to talk a little bit about some other goodies that we might be giving away to the, uh, to the viewers. Yeah, I got some pretty exciting. This is strictly for PC, these codes. Uh, but actually, while we're talking about it, I know you guys have been waiting super long for this stream to start. So we're actually going to give away one right now. It's simple. If you guys do want to, to enter, there is going to be a link dropped in the chat, uh, which is, I believe, if I'm correct, originpc.com slash live. You can enter the raffle there. We're going to be giving away a code right now. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, again, giving away game codes. Uh, the link's in chat. Uh, very exciting. Uh, there's going to be some other things uh, upcoming as well, um, but we're going to hold off on that for right now. You're going to stick around. There's a couple other cool pieces that we're going to be giving away. Don't want to spoil everything just yet. Um, and if you guys don't know, uh, Corsair is partnered with 2K uh, for lighting integration. Um, so we have uh, integrated to have this beautiful, wacky, wonderful land that uh, 2K has built uh, with Gearbox. Um, and everything synchronizes and, and, and harmonizes with Corsair products. So so uh, all the crazy, wacky RGB colors that are blowing up in front of your face on screen can now also go through your system. Um, and uh, there's going to be some links in chat to get a little bit more information on what that all looks like. Um, and we're just about ready to start getting into actually playing the game, which I'm really, really excited for. But uh, we have a more serious note and something that we wanted to kind of highlight. Um, Adam, if you maybe want to talk about that real quick before we jump into gameplay. Yeah, of course. So uh, Corsair and Elgato, we are teaming up to 
support the Save the Children's response to the conflict that is unfortunately going on in Ukraine. Um, Corsair is going to be donating dollar for dollar match donations up to $100. Uh, donations support the humanitarian programs aiming to reach 3.5 million children and their families with immediate aid. Uh, that link will be posted in chat if you guys do want to donate to that amazing cause. And um, yeah. Yeah, super good cause. And just to clarify, uh, I think Henry said $100. It's $100,000. $100, uh, just, just to clarify, $100,000. A, 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 a little off. A little uh, it's just a, a couple close. zeros. But uh, obviously close. something that's super important to all of us here. Um, we have uh, many colleagues, coworkers, friends uh, that are, are affected. And, you know, we want to support. Uh, you know, where we can. And, and, you know, this is kind of a big initiative. So uh, we ask that you uh, be kind with those donations as well and to, to help our friends over in Ukraine. Um, so, yeah, uh, with that said, uh, I think we're ready to play. Are we ready to dive in and, and probably have me die a lot? Game time. <laughs> I'll, I'll so join right. you on that. Yeah. Game time. Awesome. So uh, right now we we've gotten through the intro part. So you're not going to see the intro. Um, you know, we don't want to give all the spoilers away in this live stream. But uh, right here, I love this. Uh, and I kind of wanted to start real quick before we get going uh, to, to ping you, Ice Rocker. Uh, I know this is totally different for Borderlands and you've got like such a, a history and like love for the game. You we were talking about it before we started on stream. But like, what do you think? It's such a it's such a cool take on like the open world kind of section like everything you still have a lot of stuff that's like blocked off um i do love i mean we're gonna kind of walk into it in a in a minute here but like the random encounters but you can like stop them so you can sit there and you can grind all these little levels if you want to um but i just think it really makes it more fun and it really gives that D, &D aspect like it is a game board uh, there's so many little moments as we're like, you know, going to move through. Hopefully we get far enough that you get to see them uh, that you can just like see where it's like, you know, this giant river that's right next to us. It's just a soda that they dropped on the table and they decided to go with it, which is a lot of what my game tables look like. Honestly, <laughs> just snacks galore. Snacks I'm galore. big on snacks and I'm yeah. very clumsy. So like I vibe with that, honestly. Oh, um, I just, but I yeah, just I just, I, I think it's very refreshing, honestly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. I'm just going to join decided... back in. No, we look, didn't. I get it. I said that I wasn't super great uh, at FPS, but like, look, we <laughs> haven't like even started yet. I like how you thought yet, you were but... going to die in the game. And but you just really kicked me out right just away. Just I, I... <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, we're going to, oh. we're going to work. Wait, all of you are gone. Oh, no. I get it. I get it. You want to have your own, your own thing. It's cool. Uh, well, one thing while we're uh, working on getting set back into the game, uh, one thing I did want to note um, is I know uh, Adam on, on the origin side has a wonderful IQ setup um, um, all squared away. Uh, and basically that gives you a little bit of a look into what uh, the IQ uh, relationship work looks like, where everything's dynamically reacting to what's happening on screen from the menu to all the crazy explosions to narrative, all that kind of stuff. So uh, you're going to be able to get a, a good look at that. Oh my God, that, tra that dragon just came through my screen and took out the skeleton. That was amazing. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, but yeah, so just be, you know, we'll be cutting back and forth to that. But right now I'm going to try and get back into the group and let's see if we can <laughs> join you again. I, I yeah. think while we are loading in as well, I do see on my end that we got a nice raid from Robitech. Hey, hey. Robitech, thank Robbie. you. Thank I'm you for the get... raid. I'm yeah, it looks on myself. Well, <laughs> why can't I connect to the host? What's wrong? Oh. I got kicked offline. I oh. did too. <laughs> oh well you know i think that's part of uh that's part of the wonderful thing of launch days is sometimes you know there's uh, yeah. issues on the it game happens. side that you can't really uh uh you know control but um one thing that i know that we have a little bit of more insight on um since we're still trying to get this figured out uh and i know i already kind of mentioned it ice rocker but uh one of the things that you do very very well um is cosplay uh and i know <laughs> you've done a bunch of that stuff uh, previously for a lot of different games, but you specifically love Borderlands. So maybe talk a little bit of that uh, while we're trying to get set up. I have. So um, funny enough, actually, 
uh, my roommate that I just moved in with, too. Borderlands was one of, like, my favorite to cosplay because it was just so... I love the cell shading, which I know it's not technically cell shading for anyone who's game in game design because I've had this argument with people. <laughs> but it's a cell shading-esque, like, style, and it's so unique, and it's so just cool and, like, bright, but it's still such a, like, edgy game that I absolutely love. And... um so it's just always been so much fun to do those kind of cosplays and the harsh lines and the bright colors. And um, I, I've cosplayed so, so many of them. Um, me and my roommate, the first cosplay that we ever did together was like a Lilith and I, I was pregnant. Uh -huh. So I chose to be a psycho um, and tell everybody I was going to eat their babies because I was like super far <laughs> along. <laughs> I was that person at the con. I was just freaking people out. Um but like even to the to the point where like I would play so much that my daughter she was like she liked in uh, Borderlands 2 there is um, one of the uh, smaller like uh, psychos that he headbutts in the intro scene and she would crack up laughing every time and so she told me she was like for Halloween this year that's what I want to be and I, I of course like wiped a tear from my eye I was like oh, <laughs> I'm so that's proud what we're gonna be. <laughs> I'm so proud. I've never been more proud. At night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just really cool, especially when you like see them and like they get to see. Cause I've taken them to conventions before because I I do cosplay at conventions and to see that they like it too is it's just a really cool experience. Oh, that's the sweetest, most adorable thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I um, made that story wholesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh, that's that's great. Um. Cool. So I guess, uh, do you want to try and get into another game and get it hosted and we'll see if we can join? Or should um, we try I'm and gonna... maybe join off of uh, Vanessa I'm or something? Gonna... I'm going to try and restart mine because it's completely offline to... for me. I think I have to do the yeah. same. I'm having trouble connecting back online. Yeah, same. Mm, okay. Well, maybe I will do a quick restart as well of the game just to see if we can get uh, loaded but, back up. Um, what about you guys? Like, uh, how many Borderlands, you know, experience do you guys have? I know a lot of you have brought up D&D, &D, and that's why you kind of wanted to get into this, but, like, Borderlands specifically. So I've actually, I'm, I'm going to out myself right now, but I actually have never played Borderlands. <laughs> and so oh. when they were like, oh, you want to do Tiny Tina's Wonderland? I was like, what is that? <laughs> um, so... Uh, this is my first experience with it, but so far it's been super fun. I can definitely see the draw to it, essentially. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I think it's the uh, unique, yeah. unique like um, uh, style, right? And it's wacky and it's fun and it's chaotic. Um, and I think they do a really good job of like kind of towing that line. Um, and I've played all of the Borderlands um, uh, previously. Wow. Uh, so, you know, it's looter shooter, chaos, craziness. Um, and I was super excited about this um, because I've been working on this relationship and partnership for a very long time with 2K and Gearbox. And I am such an avid D&D nerd. <laughs> like, I love D&D to my <laughs> core. And when they originally showed this to me and was like, hey, this is like a game within a game. You know, it's it's not D&D. Obviously, it's Bunker and Badasses. But you're literally playing tabletop role play in the universe of Borderlands it's with all these iconic characters it's freaking amazing uh so i was like yes we got it we have to do this uh and there's all these iconic characters and some cool things uh that they're working on and uh and yeah i just was like okay i this is a no-brainer i need to play this uh so i sat down last night to kind of get ready for the stream and ended up playing a little bit longer than i should have <laughs> but uh i, I had to stop myself me, to go to sleep I... <laughs> <laughs> I had a hard time stopping myself last night. I said, no, like, you got something to do tomorrow. Please, you have you have deadlines to go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and once again, uh, you know, uh, I think, you know, Robitech, thank you so much for the raid. I know Adam said something previously, but uh, yeah. super appreciate that. That's freaking awesome. Uh, right yeah. at perfect timing. Um, and uh, I don't know, right now, I think, I think this might be a, a game side thing where I think the uh, servers are down. Yeah, looks like yeah. it on my, on my end, I'm down too. But actually... I actually wanted to build off of what you said there about Roby. Um, want to give a shout out to him and his entire community. I have actually actually have had the absolute pleasure of working uh, side and side with Roby on some stuff for Origin. Uh, he's amazing, incredible. His energy is electric, and I'm sure his uh, energy resonates with his community as well. Um, so I just wanted to give another shout out to him and his, his entire entire community as a whole for coming through with that big raid. 
It's electric. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why I went there. Uh, and, and then I'll just remind people uh, that, that are maybe just tuning in. Uh, we are checking out Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. If we can get online, let's hope. Uh, if not, then, you know, maybe we'll uh, we'll swap to some uh, some uh, just offline gameplay and, you know, I'll kind of keep rolling. Um, but uh, we do have a very... We get to watch you guys play. Well, you know. Yes. <laughs> Who's screen is up? Yeah, it's you know. Adam's screen, right? So we just get to watch you. Yeah, for you know, for a bit, and then maybe we can see. But then, but then you can critique me. You can just coach me the whole the time. The one like, time we doing? get to backseat games the whole time. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Take um, that tag off. Yeah, right. But uh, I, I did want to highlight the uh, thirty seventy Ti bundle um, that we have. I know GPUs are very hard to get. Uh, we have a limited uh, uh, amount uh, available at MSRP. So go get them while you can, um, because once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, links will be in the chat. Um, so I think for now, what I'm going to do uh, is, uh, you know, I think everybody can just jump in and play some single player. Um, obviously, the stream will be watching me play, so hopefully I do justice. Uh, and then uh, we'll see if we can get uh, updates on what's going on with online. Uh, and, you know, if we can get back in. should be able to see in. it kick online once it does. Yeah. So. Yeah, it usually says, uh, the I think, the command in, like, the top left when it's back online. We'll just be in our own separate lanes yeah. moving together. <laughs> And it'll be up. fine. We can, what we what can is the thing? Moisturize. Wait, wait, wait. It's taking me lane. a little longer. Thriving. <laughs> yeah, we're thriving moisturized in my lane. Yeah, yeah. That's great. But I think this is the coolest, like, little addition. The uh, the little, like, tabletop section. Um, like you said, like, it's so freaking cool. And also, if you go and jump into the river, you just, like, explode. And I love it. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> that was the last thing I did before it went off. So maybe that's why. <laughs> It took me a while to realize that that was popcorn sitting in the in the forest right there. Oh, the yeah, oh. it is. That's what it is. I thought it was like really weird rocks. I'm like, it looks like a crater, like almost like a, like a and then I realized it's popcorn. Uh, yeah, that makes <laughs> sense. I love, I love in the cutscenes that they had that there's a, um, uh, there's a bunch of like Cheetos just sitting on, like sitting yes. on the desk, like completely like powdered up, like just all over the place. So I think, I don't, I think I've already beaten this but well the first time you come through here it's like you go through the uh, tough tall grass and then there's actually like an encounter that pops up right here which is pretty fun oh and here's the cheetos and the uh and the can that you were talking about that's just sitting here yeah. Dude, i love the, i love the soda can it's so yeah good. that's a that's that's a river i can get behind <laughs> An orange soda in Hong Kong. Oh. But of course it's Tiny Tina. Of course it's gonna be an orange. I was surprised at the lack of chocolate chip cookies, but like I feel like it's early in the game. Yeah, so. true. There's gonna they be have more. to be there eventually. That reminds me of maybe I'm dating myself, but Keenan and Kel with like orange soda, like who oh, loves orange soda? God. I love That's orange soda. I do, I do, I okay. do. <laughs> Good. Hello. Knife to meet you. I'm so glad you asked. Sure. Great. Nice I want this D20. Oh my God. How did you I get can't past jump, it? though. Oh, because you you did a little bit further. That's right. Yeah, just a little bit. Not not crazy I was like, wait, you have to do the first encounter. I'm already ready to backseat game. Like, how did you just get that? <laughs> well, I'm going to go into this mine and see what happens. So, get ready. Can you get this D20 that's, like, right at the beginning area? Or is there just no way to get to it yet? Yes. Um, oh, you can. You, you have yes. to. You have to beat the encounter first. Uh, once um, you beat the encounter, you'll be able to smash things, and then you can go back and beat it. All right, I gotta go look for a fight. Yeah. It's kind of nice how me. you like kind of have to revisit and like go back to certain areas that you weren't able to unlock before. So it really encourages that um, like exploration stuff. I feel like sometimes in open world games it can be kind of hard. Like, I, I'm a big side quester. Like, I, I like to sit and just discover, like, anything and everything the map has to offer. Um, yeah. But, like, for people who are more, like, linear and stuff like that, like, they don't, they need, like, a direction. I feel like it's a really good take on it. Well, even now, like, I went into the mines and it's like, I just, like, this is instantly like, oh my god, they're behind me. This is like a dungeon crawl, like, out of nowhere, you know? It's like, yeah. oh, hey, here's this side dungeon where you're going to go get a bunch of loot. And it's like, oh, okay. Um, so I know previously, a couple new things that Borderlands did with this title that they did not do previously um, is you can create your character, which is freaking awesome. Uh, and yeah, also a there's a lot of time there. <laughs> there's melee and spell casting as well, which, you know, before, you know, it's everybody loves guns and there's always going to be guns <laughs> in any kind of Borderlands title, but uh, with Tiny Tina's, yeah, there's <laughs> melee and guns. This guy, come here. 
to beat you. Melee was always like, I'm very much like a hands on player. I always play a soldier class or anything, but I remember specifically in Borderlands 3 when the E3 announcement trailer came out that, um, uh, she, Moe's had a, uh, knife and it literally has like brack kn brass knuckles tied to the handle and it says stab on it. And I was like, I've never wanted to create something so much. And I did. I like, I made it almost immediately. And that was like the first piece of that cosplay that I made was her knife. And so like having just something where I can fully go and melee and just be encouraged to do so. This game really tailored to everything I wanted. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sick. So here you can see my uh, spell weaving class. So I did a spell shot class, which is a magic user, like I had mentioned. You know, I love any anything and everything that's, you know, magic related. And if we can get into multiplayer a little bit later, we can maybe showcase a couple of the other things. Um, but, you know, you can kind of build this out. Um, but uh, you have some character custom customization. And one of the cool things is, is when you start the game, um, there's a really cool piece of intro where uh, Tiny Tina is kind of going over like this grand like setup for the story. And then there's these characters that are these like miniatures on a tabletop. And then your character is all grayed out and based, like not painted or anything. So it's like, yeah, here's the new guy that hasn't done anything. And it's like, oh, you're level one. But uh, it's it's pretty cool that the you guys start kind of like- they made it a gray unpainted figure was just even Yeah, better. that was like, so like, funny. The <laughs> icing on the cake. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> And, uh, and so, yeah, and then just like with uh, any kind of tabletop, you have like your uh, base strength, dex, intelligence, wisdom, constitution, attunement, that kind of stuff. And based on your class, each one of these will help you better or worse, you know. So I've been kind of pumping uh, intelligence, but, you know, dex, you know, constitution is always probably good because <laughs> your boy's going to die a lot. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you just like stack one stat like what let's say i just put all my points into wisdom nothing over and over else again. <laughs> yeah like because oh. they say yeah, like hi it's, welcome it's, to my strength build <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing i've been all putting strength. in is nothing strength. else <laughs> i'm strong not oh, a I'm... single thought is behind these eyes except violence <laughs> <laughs> oh. i feel like i've gone i've gone the even out approach i've kind of just been adding one or two to each column, seeing how that plays out. But I think I like your your approach better. Just All overpowered, <laughs> overpowered in one I'm area. To think about it. Yeah, just, just like my this. character is built. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Ooh. This was like my uh, my spell ability that I do. Uh, so Adam, maybe uh, since you're playing a bit over on your side and you've got the setup, you want to maybe like talk a little bit about IQ and play yeah, it and kind of talk a little bit through stuff. that. Yeah, of course. So I think I think you you got me at the perfect time as I'm in a I think just having a conversation with a, a noble villager over here. But yeah, as you're playing throughout the game, the really cool thing about IQ is that the integration just reacts in real time with everything going on in the actual game itself. So I actually got to play this a little bit before we actually gathered around here. And one thing that was really cool to me is usually when you're fighting with with a an enemy when you're low on health the iq actually likes to flash red which is really cool so my entire setup was was integrating in real time and just all flashing red and this really gets you into the feel of the game and what's going on it just has a better grip for everything and the entire setup itself uh from from the pc interacting to my mouse to my keyboard everything in iq just lets you integrate and it's really cool to see how it interacts with the game such as this Heck yeah, no one no one saw me just miss all those shots. No one. <laughs> they didn't no, actually. They didn't, they didn't <laughs> good. Seen your setup flash, that's for good, sure. Good. Good. Yeah. Probably, <laughs> probably yelling. Be better. Alright, let's see if uh I don't know what that's gonna do. Is it just going like, oh yeah, it's attacks. It attacks. <gasps> Heck yeah. I could melee these trees all along. Get <laughs> everything! Just what? beat it up! <laughs> <laughs> just break it. Everything goes down. Break right? it, it's fine. Break yeah. it, it's fine. Just break it. Break it. Trees break don't it. stand break a chance it. anymore. <laughs> I knew exactly where you're going with I'm, that. I'm glad that you understood where I was going with that one. Break <laughs> it, it's fine. Just break it. Break everything. <laughs> I'm just trying to do the melee build. I'm a spellcaster meleeing. I don't think I'm doing this right. No, there's a rogue. Stay away. We can talk about this. No, no, they're cool. They're cool. You want to be friends. You do Just introduce get to yourself. Do the best of both worlds, because uh, eventually, once you do level up enough, you'll get to multi class and pick an entirely second class to start leveling. Oh, oh my god, that's amazing! I was just excited to get a pet. <laughs> that's yeah, why, that's why I went. Have, like, a little, 
I was like floating skull. Floating skull. The uh, yeah. Say if less. you interact with him, he actually like has little voice lines, and you like talk back and forth, and it's like super super cute. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> Where this? Oh my! There's so many. Why are there so many of you? <laughs> Altus, please. Oh, we just die. Oh, they just oh, want you. I also love that it's like these D and D's. Like when you finish things, it's like, oh yeah, here's the vault. It's a big D and D, uh, uh, D twenty, and I'm like, this is amazing. Oh, Ooh. searching for the little golden D twenties. It's yes. just like someone posted a meme on that too, and it was like the where they like veer off super fast off of the highway, and it's like the main story quest, and it's like looking for golden D twenties. Like it's so much fun to like try and go find those and just like run for it. Because you do have the roll mechanic too. So if you roll bad, you don't get good loot from it. True, true. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So uh, one of the things again, uh, outside of the bundle, we are doing uh, code giveaways. A whole bunch of code giveaways, uh, and there's links in chat. Uh, so if you want to get a chance to get a copy of the game, or uh, something that we worked on uh, is a custom, one of a kind butt stallion castle PC that you can <laughs> win, and it's got all the latest and greatest specs. Uh, the system is a powerhouse. It's a beauty, uh, and obviously it highlights and focuses on Butt Stallion, uh, which is an iconic character. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, uh, but you know, once again, I think you can go to the Origin PC landing page. Links will be in the chats. Uh, you yep. can kind of take a look a little bit more about all of that. There's gonna be another encounter here. Ooh. I already know it. I just got hit with a boulder. <laughs> he just threw a boulder at me. Oh my God. <laughs> Where's the I'm encounter? just fighting skeletons right now. It's there crazy. it is. <laughs> oh, I'm. Oh, IQ just picked up. I'm flashing red right now. IQ seems to. Be, oh. <laughs> it, it, uh, that means you're doing good, right? Alert! Oh, yeah. I think Alert! That, you're in danger. You're showing Alert. off the build. <laughs> I think I'm. I think I'm dying actually now. <laughs> Run! Run away! Oh no! I'm dead. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh another oh, thing too. Speaking melee. of dying constantly. Um. I like that they changed it from fight for your life, which is the normal like revive system, uh, to death saves. So it actually like says oh. a death save. At the top. There's all those like really good just D and D hits. They really did like a good job. Like, it's the skeleton. You would say. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I agree. Yeah, it's like but... unique ways to in put it. Yeah. Uh, incorporate it. Oh no. Ugh. So Adam, it looks like I'm the first one to die. So I only had to ever roll the uh, death save once. I think I'm the noob. Between the two Adams, it went well. Oh, I'm out of ammo. That has never happened. I, I rounded this corner and like I was getting destroyed by these people. These these brigands. How dare you? Okay, so shield, shield, ward. Yeah, there's like a little like ward. I feel like they're they're like they're destroying me and I'm shooting them with a pellet gun. I'm like ping 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 ping. <laughs> it's just like I will death by a thousand. It really pellets. does encourage you to to use like your magic and stuff though. Yeah, it this does. Yeah. What I think it kind of goes to like yeah you have the guns but you cannot just just you can. Ooh, look at the ward. Look at this little guy. Hey little buddy, and he sh he drops you ammo and stuff too, which I think Wait, is really cool. Yes, I love that, that you're able to replenish ammo after killing the skeletons. I think that's a great feature. Friggin' no, don't throw fire at me. <laughs> I love I love the long grass feature because every time I think of Jurassic Park, it's like, don't go into the long grass! Not into the long grass! <laughs> 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 All I could think of was Pokemon. This, this classic Pokemon. Also that. Also that's grass. true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That sound plays in my head every time they pop up. Cause you have to like run over and you can punch them to stop the encounter from happening. You can't stop those. Ooh, this looks fun. I'm gonna oh, equip that. All my ammo back now? Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> Nightmares. Oh, look at these portals. Uh, oh, pissy. Now I'm at an intense part. All right. Am I might be quiet. To... It's cause I'm trying not to die. Oh, it's locked. Interesting. Okay. I mean, this this whole like other world like tabletop concept is so freaking cool. I just it's like the cutest little thing. Ah! Oh, by the I, way, I, I just, oh, if you beat the boxes up in the uh, like over like tabletop like scenario, I think there's like gold and stuff in them at times. You gold dice, gold dice, gold dice. the boxes gold. up? Yeah, like the little boxes. What does that even mean? I just got fourteen boxes? gold. Uh, yeah, like the little crates and stuff. 
in that uh, in little like overview. Yes. Room. Oh, this is a bomb! <laughs> three. I was like, oh, let's go ahead and melee it. It was Good. a bomb. I, I did it that was earlier. A bomb. <laughs> I literally did that earlier, and I was like, oh, that's a bomb. <laughs> the health oh. ones and the fire ones are the same color! <laughs> I How shot do I know which a... one to choose? I feel like... I, sh I keep shooting a um, little oh, barrel that like freezes the, the skeletons as they run past it, and I just happen to freeze myself. To stop like moving, which is great. All of these ice powers just for me, because there's a lot of them. Like the Berserker was just, just wonderful. Oh, he jumped into the water. The Berserker. I found treasure. Okay, I'm going. Ah, to it's a sword. Ooh. I have a sword now. I'm a <laughs> warlock lich with a sword. Yeah, Unstoppable. That, that tracks. Unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, I know we were talking about it earlier, and you were like, "Oh, I play like." evil characters <laughs> it's just like and you're like oh there's a skull on this one absolutely sign me up <laughs> i'm so in looks, looks like it's a good you're time. uh yeah you're current you play evil characters in your D, &D campaigns as well yes yes just every time yes <laughs> <laughs> so my first campaign i ever played so i i've never i've never played D, &D until i joined corsair actually um it would i've been at corsair oh, no. for about like what three years now and so i started my first campaign a year into my role and first one i played was a warlock who turned lich who might have ended the world that's fine um <laughs> then <laughs> also might have killed adam's character i'm sorry adam uh, i still think about it <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, so do I. No. <laughs> um, Every second day. character I played was uh, I was a sorcerer uh, in another, like, just a one-off. Um, she died. And then another sorcerer. She's still alive. And then a cleric? I think I think that's all my character. Yeah, I've been in like four campaigns now since in like within two years. <laughs> yeah, I was a, I'm a I'm a drow cleric. <laughs> so yes, <Thanks> evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. No. I like I said before. I I almost always I play right now. She actually started off as a uh, dwarven um, paladin. And I was like, cool, I got this. Like, you know, it's we had a whole backstory, uh, it's a custom home world build. I was very excited. And then my character just got so frustrated with everyone in the party that I literally just threw the entire thing out and I just became a barbarian one day. I was like, I go out into the forest and start screaming. I'm a barbarian now. <laughs> I'm yelling at trees. <laughs> 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 She's been changed ever since. I actually just recently, this last session, finally multi-classed her back because my god spoke to me, and they were like, "Yo, what's up, dude? Why? What do you? What do you? Do? You can't. You can't do that." I'm like, oh, a, okay, oh, yeah. that's fair. What a great relationship with your patron, where he's like, "Yo, what's up, dude? I'm like, can we talk I about knew this?" I it was bad when my, D, when my DM asked me about it. He was like, "Who were your gods again?" I'm like, "Oh no, uh, <laughs> uh -oh. about that." When your DM ask you any question. <laughs> like, it's just, it's never good, especially hey. if it's your backstory. Like, hey, can we talk about your super traumatizing, like, parental issues? Right. Like, you're an orphan, right? I'm like, oh, God, come on, man. Yeah, hey, pretty D, much any time our DM says, are you sure? I'm like, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> I would like to backtrack my time. conversation. <laughs> You just Never hear that again. like silent like roll over on the other side and like see them. Okay, how about you like I don't know roll roll a perception. That's my like least favorite words. Yeah, roll, yeah, roll a perception. You're just sitting in a bar. <laughs> What's your perception? <laughs> I'm just trying to drink and have a good time. So uh, I'm tired. We're in a bathhouse. So it, interesting. Oh, right? I see George is in chat. Oh, no. What do you mean for now? What do you mean for now? <laughs> You're fine for now. No. Insert evil laugh. Well, I know one of the things that's super great about D and D, obviously, is like the creative aspect of it, you know, and it really helps like get get you in the mindset of like, you know, a different person and, and being creative and all that stuff. And, and I, I just want to say, Vanessa, weren't you like a teacher before all of this crazy journey? <laughs> yeah, um, I used to be an art teacher. Um, taught for about four years. Uh, I was art education, K through eight. 
Um, and the the cool thing was I actually um, I actually incorporated gaming into my lessons. So for example, um, oh, there's a picture, of course. Um, I'm a crazy cat lady in this picture. I don't even know who she is anymore. Who, who is but, that? Not I've me. I've never heard of her. Um, never heard of her. So, uh, <laughs> One of the things I used to do was like, you know, for example, Bioshock uh, 2 had just came out at the time or was about to come out. And so um, I took all of the artwork that was being made about the game uh, and I would put it up on the screen and we would be talking about uh, one point perspective, for example. And I'd say, OK, find the horizon in these. And, you know, here's how uh, gaming uh, artists, essentially, you know, environmental artists uh, design their their, at the very basic uh, level, how they design their landscape. So let's talk about that. And like we would practice finding it in all these different kinds of games. Um, and then one day I realized that gaming could be a job. And I was like, wait, I have another calling. <laughs> <laughs> I still think about TG from time to time, but like it's just, you know, it's just, oh, I also, yes, because I'm an art teacher, I also had my own hobby of, of cosplaying myself. So this is a cosplay I did my character from Fallout 4. Um, and I don't know if you guys know the, um, I can't remember his name. He's on the Brotherhood of Steel's ship. And when you first meet him, he's a huge jerk. And immediately I uh, hated Owen him. Maxon? No, not Maxon. It's one okay. of the guys, when you first get on the ship, he's like, you can't talk to him and you're a horrible <laughs> player or something like that. And I was like, There's a lot I will remember this. <laughs> and I then I came this. back okay, and I murdered out. him <laughs> and I took his hat. And I made a point to wear it every time I interacted with anyone from Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> and so I was like, I'm putting it in my cosplay. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, note to self. I don't, don't hold Vanessa grudges. Mad. Yeah, don't. I aspire to be that level I don't of hold That's amazing. grudges. <laughs> what? Not Me? at all. Not at all. Never. Oh. Oh I'm God. innocent. <gasps> they have like a spell one. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Wow. Oh, there's I'm so many. See. What should I do? There's so oh, many options here for equipment. Ex <laughs> extinction I'm calamity of I think a hundred percent. I feel like Borderlands is always a game to like play with friends. It's such a social game. I think every game is better for playing sure. with friends. For sure. That's true. That's it. Every Bam. game is better to play with friends. It's good times. <laughs> See, I'm gonna caveat that. Oh, <laughs> I oh, actually nice. I love playing solo generally, but it's because I'm that person who like I literally I will not leave a map until I have searched for all the treasure. And people be like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I'm like, no. I I think you it has to be you have to play with people that are like you. Like I play yes. with like a handful of people who I know that we play the same or they will let me wander off and go look at things like hey i'm gonna listen to this like you know whatever insert you know voice box thing uh i think in this one it's scrolls or poems like mm -hmm. i just want to listen to them talk like That's someone put in the effort to make this <laughs> i, I just want to listen to everything the amount of terminals that i had i read were just yes. so was same. <laughs> crazy. So was crazy. Oh my god! You think I'd read more books? I don't. <laughs> well, you don't need to be when you're reading all the exactly. information ever. <laughs> Are the Bioshock books? Does that count? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so most uh, of the books I've read are gaming books. <laughs> Well, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, I read like that's all I read too. Um, I'm also a big Star Wars nerd, so I've just been like going through all of the Star Wars books mm -hmm. as well, just like really, really enjoying those. But uh, it's so crazy, like even in like Tiny Teens Wonderlands, but like there's all of this like really cool lore built in to games that like you can, and some some do it, you know, they make a really big push where it's like you have this overarching story, but then like you're diving into what what is happening in game and you're finding all these lore pieces that tell you so much about all these other pieces and they do it really, really well. I've always loved the character, like, the storytelling and stuff that they do, because it really did, like, create a universe, and I think that's why it does Whoa. so well, even with these spinoffs and stuff. Like, it's just a really cool, fun universe to, like, pick apart and stuff, because all the characters are, like, intertwined in a certain way, and you, like, learn about, like, okay, Moxie's married everyone, and oh my god, Ellie's her daughter, how did this, what, what's happening here? Like, it's just, it's so good. Because they've done like different genres, like you had the Telltale style game, you had the DLCs, 
um, the difference between one and three, like just the changes that they've made and stuff, and then now this one. Like they all are so different, but like still cohesively story-wise and universe-wise play so well. I just got to like the queen's section, the castle, and oh my god! I need a breath in the middle of that. Beautiful. <laughs> Something I'm I so excited. About... <laughs> Something I love about this that I've noticed is when I do do really badly, really poorly, and when I go down, that you can shoot for your survival and let yourself come back when you're already death down. Save. Oh, it's, wow. it's great. It's, oh yeah, like you were that. saying, the death save. Yes, I love the death save because I've been in that a couple times and it, it allows me to revive myself. So. It's really good for solo play. <laughs> and I've just been dying the entire time. Yeah, you're like, I've, just, I've been there six times already. It's just like, <laughs> hey, all right, great. Well, speaking, uh, Adam, don't you have like a unique connection with 2K as well uh, with uh, yeah. NBA and stuff? Yeah, so, and I know, I think Ice Rocker actually relates to me on this. So I used to stream on Mixer, uh, which is, it's a, it's a sore subject, but we love it anyway. Uh, I streamed on Mixer. I have a tattoo I was, on my body. It's yeah, like, I can never it, live it down. I know, I'm in the same boat. <laughs> uh, not with the tattoo, but with other things. It, it, it's not a reminder, but yeah, I... Uh, never be on my level. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, I love NBA 2K. Uh, I'm a really big fan of NBA 2K. I'm a big uh, basketball fan myself. I'm a dire Brooklyn Nets fan, but... Um, back when I was on Mixer, that's actually the main game that I, I played, NBA 2K, which actually helped me get partnered on the on the platform. And um, because I was a diehard Brooklyn Nets fan, I actually got to make a lot of connections with, with Brooklyn Nets players at the time. They're no longer Brooklyn Nets players, but um, I'm not... I, I, I love it, but I don't love it. But um, I, I was able to make friendships with D'Angelo Russell and some really cool NBA players um, and just actually get to get closer with a lot of the some people from 2k and their team so nice. i do have a connection to 2k cool. um <laughs> and I, I do i do love take two and 2k oh my god that's amazing oh that is... hello there's a another person in here there's a lot of people in industry almost died you know i'm yeah, honestly yeah. impressed death i haven't revive. I, well, I've been close to death once. Uh, now that I said it, I'll probably jinx myself. Um, oh, yeah. uh, you jinxed it. One, jinxed one fun it now. fact <laughs> about me that I know Vanessa knows, and then, uh, like I said, I do a, a bunch of uh, tabletop role playing, so I'm on uh, streams three three times a week uh, doing a bunch of D&D. &D. Uh, I have a curse where I just roll bad. Yes, you like, do. Yes, you do. Like, it's just, it's just oh, real no. bad. I'm just cursed. I don't know what it is. Uh, you know, some say it's even worse than Will Wheaton's, which I don't know. I mean, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, I so... remember when we used to play in person before everything, you know, happened. And I, I was like, oh, you know, can I borrow your dice? And then I started rolling bad. I was like, take your dice back. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my chances. I don't no. want it. I don't want it anymore. Now that you, I don't want it's, it anymore. It's so true. <laughs> D and D, bringing friends closer together since forever. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I was happy that for the most part, there's not a whole bunch of rolling I have to do. Um, but if I do get in one of these death saves, <laughs> oh boy, uh, that'll be fun. Mm. Also, I have this super big, awesome, cool spell that I'm in love with. On your character right now? Yeah. Or do you it's have something amazing. different? Yeah, it's like a big, big meteor. It's like a huge yeah. meteor. Like comes down is like, bah, I am. I, the alpha. I don't like have a lot of like range stuff. Like I love the the spells kind of kind of save me sometimes in the yeah. in the boss fights and stuff. The spells are lifesavers. I would have been dead way more if I didn't have the spells. I just gotta use them. Forgetting they exist. Oh. It's ironic because of you forget what my role is. <laughs> yeah. running I was gonna guns, say, wait, I'm running. over here with my sniper oh rifle. Like <laughs> jump punched me. <laughs> I I'm just a special kind of warlock, all I right? I took it off. I took it off. I was doing terribly with it. Oh, not this guy. Take my meteor. <laughs> oh my god, this thing's OP. It's amazing. Oh, there's a spellcaster. Oh, I guess. My inventory's full. No. <laughs> no. I can't believe this sold, happened. I should have sold more stuff back there when I had the chance. Where do you sell things? Uh, well, when you go further in, you get to the castle where the uh, everything catches oh, on fire. Spoiler alert. I don't know if you're there yet, but, uh, but uh, <laughs> I, spoiler nice. alert. It's really pretty when it happens, even though it's mass destruction. Um, but yeah, there's a spot there where you can buy weapons and armaments and stuff. And you can also sell. And I probably should have because uh, 
Well. Ah! Oh yeah, I can. So Adam, how much? How many uh, dice do you have? Like IRL. We don't need to bring that up. Uh, I don't think <laughs> now that's we definitely do. No, no, we no, need no, to have I'm a conversation. About I just started this. collecting, so please. You can't oh. brush it off. It's it's already out there now. Um, a lot. Uh, <laughs> so I have a lot. <laughs> Anytime I go to PAX or any any event, I'm always trying to get more. Uh, it's it's a problem I have. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, I have a lot uh, from uh, a lot of different places, uh, and I have some really cool ones. I almost, as, as crazy as this may seem for some people, I almost spent an exorbitant amount of money on a meteorite set that was literally from a space rock. Uh, that uh, there was one set, space, and it space, was like literally dice, and it was like metallic, but it was literally from a space rock. And I was like, oh, how much is this? And he told me the price, and I was like, Haha, but maybe. Uh, <laughs> I ultimately didn't do it's it. It's really a space like, rock? Okay. I was like, no. So I ended up only spending half that on an obsidian set. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's, I have a problem. What is going on? Oh. So how yeah, do you I feel like a drop lot of things? My TikTok feed turned into a lot of custom D and D like mm -hmm. dice builds. And I was just like, well, now I got to go look this up. And it just snowballed into it. I don't even play in person. I've never played in person. Oh. And I still own, I own at least, I, I think I've got like five different sets now, and I've been looking at uh, quite a few more. Oh, Actually, yeah, less, I literally a bought a set. D &D yeah, mm -hmm. no, there's tons, there's tons. D&D &D adjacent, right? Like, you know, and all tea. these other things. Yeah. Yeah, I literally <laughs> bought a set, and then everyone went remote, and I was like, but my dice. Perfect timing, perfect timing. <laughs> Can I roll my dice anyways? <laughs> right. Uh, actually, how do you do drop stuff in your bag, by the way? Uh, I think you hold Q in the inventory. Hold Q? You... No. Yeah, yeah. Hold R? No. Nope, that made it favorite. Maybe it's... Do you tab? Nope. Did you do that? Well, no, tab hold R. Yeah, Q. Q? You have to hold it. For how long? My crazy. <laughs> There's a circle! There's a circle till the circle's done. Oh. I don't know how else to explain this. It just says hold Q. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I'm not, doing it right. It's not letting me do it. Maybe because I'm in either. a dungeon. Oh, 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 Q. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Maybe no, now. I'm in, a, I'm in a really cool. Um, it was supposed to be a one shot, and we ended up actually go. dragging it out into like three or four sessions now. Um, but it is a Call to Cthulhu. Ooh. Oh man, uh, that is so good. And. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites so far because it's less on combat and almost all on storytelling. And just, it's with, it's an all-girl team, like, we all just kind of, like, get together and drink way too much wine, and it's, it's, <laughs> it's been probably some of my favorite stuff so far. Oh, that's awesome. I, I, I'm a big fan of, like, the Call of Cthulhu, like, dark, you know, kind of gritty, yeah. horror kind of D&D, uh, &D, and, and, you know, I ran a I DM'd a campaign for quite a while and it was all kind of based on that. But uh, anytime that you can get kind of some of those weird, creepy, just off, like, I'm like, yes, let's do it. I'm there for it. <laughs> I'm excited about it. <laughs> like, I need more of this injected into my veins. Um, you also learn to, like, not trust anything, too. Uh, like, it's, it's very just. Yes. Everything is suspicious. <laughs> Always. That's, that's a problem Always. with life. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, George, uh, or Glorious George, who's a content manager here at Corsair and is is our DM for a lot of our stuff, uh, has scarred me for life. I don't trust anything anymore. <laughs> um, he just constantly Dang. has all of these things, and he's like, hey, check this stuff out. I'm like, what about this, huh? You want to make this uh, trade? You know, it's just going to cost you maybe a soul or something. I don't know. And not, I'm like, I don't trust I don't anything know, anymore, George. <laughs> And he's like, you know, it's fine. It'll be okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> or when he says, oh, just sign this contract. I'm like, I would like to roll to read contract. And he's like, I rolled a four. It looks fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. My poor DM, I've been rolling insanely high. And especially for how dumb my character is. I've been rolling in insanely high for like my history and religion checks. And so like, or like even just investigation. And so they discount, they're like, okay, you know, go ahead and roll for it, whatever. And then I just nat it. And he'll just be like, all right, Rocker, all right, all right, I'll just tell you what color sock she's wearing. I'm like, okay, that's fair. You're ruining my DMness. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you want that to stay a secret? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like those random offshoots. Like, I rolled a nat 20. And it's like, ah, I guess 
I guess you know everything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this was going to be this for like four months from now. We had, oh my God. I, I, I ended up actually like mounting and riding and taking out an Ember Hulk myself. It was a mess. Oh my. Uh, I just kept critting it over and over again. And he was like, okay, but like, well, like, you're, you're, you're still riding him. So you're like, you're going to fall off. I'm like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> the rolls say otherwise. I'm right yeah, well, I'm not going okay. anywhere. I'm doing it. Oh, man. This rock troll is really making my life difficult. Okay. Trying to see where. I'm just gathering all the treasure on the map. It took me the longest longest time to realize during this, uh, there's one catapult part. Have you guys have gotten that far? The Is it catapult? the castle? Yep, the castle, though, yeah. Yep. Where you have to get in it? Yeah, I, well, I'm not there yet. I didn't know, I, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know you I had to. I had to go to. talk to a And so I monster. literally walked around the entire map like a crazy person. I was just like, I don't know where I mean, I'm but going. You would have done that anyway, searching for stuff, right? Yeah, like, I, I yeah, did. You know, I did. So I found all the dice. It's fine. <laughs> I found all the dice. Oh, all I the haven't. Dice. I'll have to go back. Um, I but found a lore scroll. I think, I think this might be a good time just to do a quick little recap of what we're doing. So, uh, you know, we're playing Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Uh, it's Let's Play here on Corsair. Uh, we're highlighting uh, IQ integration, which, uh, you know, you can see Adam's. Uh, whole system set up reacting uh, dynamically to everything that's happening you know just let's add more immersion to what's going on in this chaotic world around you um but then also we have a whole bunch of giveaways that we're doing uh you can win uh some game keys uh and some other things i'm not quite ready to talk about yet but we do have a couple other things coming up that you might want to stick around for because there's some pretty cool giveaways that we're given uh, with some partners. Um, and uh, yeah, we're having a great time. We have some great friends with us. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're just happy that you guys are here and hanging out. You know, hopefully you guys are having a good time too. And uh, I also just want to say, and this is very important, I haven't died yet, and Adam's, the other Adam's died like seven. So, you know, I, uh, I also I'm haven't also, died. I'm also currently <laughs> blinking. I'm currently yes. blinking and my IQ is blinking while you mentioned that. <laughs> so that is really great timing for it's you. Messy, it's like flashing red. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy, you know. I'm <laughs> superior gaming. No. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, you're the superior Adam. Fine, it's fine. No worries. Meanwhile, Ice Rocker's like, yeah, I just no. I just beat the game. Ice Rocker's like, yeah, I'm done. Did you guys, oh, you guys get to the end? So Did you guys beat that? Because uh, I'm already done. <laughs> You guys are at bosses? <laughs> I'm like trying to look over to like see where he's at. I'm like, I'm not that much further right. He's trying to like sing back a little bit. I don't know what but I'm doing But also I get right bored now. and stop thinking. <laughs> but this is tough, what I'm doing currently in the bosses. It's such so, a like, uh, good, just like mindless uh, like shooter too. I think it's because it's so casual. Yeah, you know, I'm not. I'm not a hardcore shooter. gamer. Like I don't play. I don't play like the the Dark Souls style. Like where you die over and over again. Like yeah, I play Halo on Legendary. That's that's great. I'm I'm proud of you, honey. But like, well, okay. I to be just fair, have a good time. <laughs> some of us, some of us play this and die a lot anyway. So it's you know, let's, <laughs> who is let's be, who is some of us? Let's be who is some of us? Let's be who is some of us? Is this guy? Hey. <laughs> I felt the shade. No, 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 no. it's all fun. Yeah, I am so, some of us. So I think also, you know, with with Tiny Tina's all these like crazy beautiful worlds and mentioning about all that, you know, like PC specs are super important. Um, so Adam, you know, maybe you want to talk a little bit about that. You know, obviously we have the thirty seventy seventy Ti bundle, um, but maybe talk yeah. a little bit about specs and you know all that kind of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bundle, and then just in general, right? Like, I mean, hey, you're gonna, you know, if you want to get the most out of this, like, PC is like, talk it's always gonna look, to you know, amazing. Yeah, talk, <laughs> talk nerdy to us, okay? I think that was the, that's what I got. Talk, from that. talk nerdy, yeah. That's, that's RGB, <laughs> RGB, RGB, RGB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry I had to. <laughs> yeah, no, like Adam, like Adam mentioned, yeah, we have an amazing <laughs> bundle, uh, a 3070 Ti Founders Edition bundle that comes with. You know everything you need to, to completely upgrade your setup. I mean, to to talk as as you mentioned, talking nerdy and just making your overall experience <laughs> better. Um, yeah, but we have a 3070 uh, Founder Edition bundle at MSRP that's now only available at Corsair.com in the U.S. Right? 
if I believe it was only in the U.S. Yes. If, I'm, if I'm correct, there it is only yep, in the yep, U.S. Only in the U.S. But uh, you know, still, I mean, I think it's everybody's been trying to get GPUs for like ever. Oh, right. oh he just came out of the sky. Oh, that's a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I just see the I just see the computer stuff on the screen. So I was like, oh. The, the computer stuff's the big boy. <laughs> this is the catapult part. This is the catapult. Oh god. I was, I was kind of scared. <laughs> this is the catapult part. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, go away, wounded skeleton. You're not wounded yet. Let me get up here with the rock drill. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm not ready for this. I am. Ah, uh, oh! <laughs> am I also at the catapult part? How did we do this at the same time? Huh? 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 It was fine. It was There's all lots of explosions. Ooh, oh, it's, okay. It's, we're it's we're like we're together, we're but we're not. This guy is just chasing <laughs> me down. Oh, he's an archer and he's missing an arm, so he can't shoot me. <laughs> I love that. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Because yeah, yeah. you can, you when you shoot them, it'll like knock their arm off, and they literally like will just look frustrated and throw whatever weapon they have in their hands at you. It's hilarious. <laughs> How dare you? I should not stand close to this. They're gonna use that against me. <laughs> From. Where did you go? I've been fighting this bomber forever now. This flying bomber. I don't know if you guys have gotten to this part, but I have been in this one fight for the longest time now. Is it one of those where like you, you reached a place you shouldn't be and <laughs> it's just like I'm on fire? Were you supposed not... to do some power leveling before? Yeah, you... yeah, you know, it's like defeat a couple side quests, you know, maybe. No. Listen, maybe. I will scale the mountain to get to the story quest. I don't care <laughs> if I'm 10 levels under. Yeah, it's like, I need to beat this. Oh, I should probably stop this, huh? There was a time in Skyrim, I remember specifically, I was like level 12 and I found a cave against like a level 50 or something. The level of petty I am, I sat in that cave as a stealth <laughs> archer shooting oh. one damage arrows at this boss for two hours you're like let and me go and get a bunch of arrows <laughs> but it, it, but <laughs> the it amount of times that, that i like, <laughs> locked my companions in the room with the boss to be like you can wear them down okay like, <laughs> you, you, just, you get them ready and then i'll come in with lydia my never level. listens lydia oh, just oh, carries oh. my dragon bones <laughs> every time i'm like, lydia what are you doing heavy. please <laughs> i think that's her name lydia might be wrong. Stop chasing me. This, this this melee is just so different. I'm not used to it. Ah, I'm beating you as a mage. Beat him! Beat him! I did. I'm going for Zerker. <laughs> Why are you on the roof? Get down. I did it. I was like we did it. Joke. Finally. You did it? <laughs> Yay. We did it. We did it. Why is he here? He Why is that there? How is he up there? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> there are so many I'm having a great time! Oh. <laughs> we're having, we're having a great time. Wow, you're doing amazing! <laughs> so what's everyone's levels? Uh, uh, good question. What hey, level am I? No, it's just right at the bottom, bottom of the screen when you're playing. Oh, four. Adam. I'm four. Um, am I not seeing a level on my bottom line? No, it's bottom line. It's, it's a big oh, yellow bottom, bar. Middle. It's middle. literally oh, right there. Five. You said middle. I heard right. Okay. Uh, I am level five. I'm Look, level five. I've been wanting to say, say this to all day. You're higher level than me. Don't make a right, okay? I'm no, two out of Don't make a right. That's pretty good. That's pretty I'm good. No. I'm now Roy, oh, not Adam I... anymore. No, we're at we're Roy men. I'm not Adam. We're Roy men. Now they're both right men. Yeah, yeah. We're both Adam Reitman. Reitman. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm done. Uh, no, you know what, let's transition from that, and how about we talk about, I mean, you, you said it earlier, Vanessa, but like, what about favorite characters? Uh, who's, who's like some of your favorite characters in like maybe uh, the Borderlands series? But I'm new. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I've yeah, actually true, never but like, played I'm sure it. <laughs> Ice Rocker has a whole bunch. Oh, yeah. You can make me pick a favorite? Well, you know, maybe a top, top <laughs> Well, for you, a top seven. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. But... Um, yeah. I uh, really love Gage, who was a DLC playable character for uh, two, and she was really cool. Uh, she had a really cool backstory, 
And I love that they brought her in on uh, one of the DLCs for three as well. And then the other one that they did was, I, I don't know, I could literally talk about all of them forever. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, I mean, Obviously, Tiny Tina's like everyone's kind of favorite. As long yeah. as, I, I will just say, I hold this a special love for almost everyone. There's even Steve, the guy that he literally just yells "ao" at me. Ayo. <laughs> He's also <laughs> holds a special oh, place in my heart. My However, claptrap, I hold oh. no oh. love and respect for. Oh, oh this is the hot no take. No this is the hot take for the day. So we could. <laughs> is this expand. a bad? Is this a bad time to say that Origin made a very specific claptrap? <laughs> <laughs> great yeah. time to mention. This, this is a time? wonderful time. Wow, what a great. What segue. a great lead-in. <laughs> That's a great time to mention that we did uh, about a year ago a very specific request on the podcast PC. <laughs> PC, they, they've always, and they make so much merch, they put them on everything, and I swear, even the other characters, like, when you come across him and stuff, they're all like, holy crap, he's speaking, he's awful. Like, it's so bad, like, make it stop. And I just, I can't. But the PC looks right, nice. Too. On VR, so that oh I could God. feel the sensation of like kicking him. Oh it was great. Crap trap violence. I can oh. do it. Okay, all right. You may, not, <laughs> oh you may not like. You may not like the violence of him, but would you say that the PC looks good though? If you saw it, it? does. I, I actually I know I saw it. I okay. know I got tagged in it so many times. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Anytime guys, anything Venus? Borderlands gets posted, that's yeah, they're like, okay, but. Well, so have you seen? Fun, fun fact: we 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 mysteriously lost the PC uh, when you came to visit the HQ at some mm. point. Is there a relational? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen. Interesting. Oh, I, I had one of the office space moments. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I found a a, a side these, dungeon. Uh, you found side dungeons? Are we supposed to be looking for side dungeons? Uh, <laughs> side I, I mean, you can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who says otherwise? Oh, okay. Remember when Pre Sequel made him a playable character too? Flashing and I was like, red. yeah, this is my nightmare. Flashing red, flashing red. These skeletons made of. Why are you still up? I'm flashing red. I didn't even select my main thing. Oh, yet. that's a boss. You know. Oh, that's a boss. No, yeah, no. My, my skeleton's a boss as well, as you said that, and I'm flashing red. <laughs> you don't see me, Mr. Boss. No, 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 no. Oh, I got one more I can do. No, I can't. Oh, it's skill points. <gasps> Let's go back. Um... You have two separate points, too. You have your <gasps> like, yep. skill points, and then you have your actual, like, level up points. It feels so good. But to, you like, me, you understand. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep yes. going on the character, Mancer. Yeah. I love I love their uh, take on everything though. It's like all their names, like you know, like spell shot and like Stabomancer, and <laughs> it's just like all these. Stabomancer is a pretty good name. Like typical, uh, like Borderlands universe, like crazy names and, and schemes and stuff. Oh, it's it's, it's very much just how I would imagine. Not even just Borderlands, like but Tiny Tina specific. How mm -hmm. she would say everything. Like you, can, it's her lingo is really what makes this game so great. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, oh yeah, she's like, baby! <laughs> she's just like, how do I get into this? What, what, how do I? Is there, is there a way to jump into this? I can't wait to get else? to the other characters that get in here, too. <laughs> oh, I just actually climb it. Whee! Uh. Whee! <laughs> we did it. I hope I remember this part. Actually, I died on this part. I'm glad they give you so much ammo, though, because boy, yes. every time you kill, yeah, this amazing. is probably one of the first ones that I never run out of ammo. Yeah, mm, uh, never of course say never. The, of course never it's the say I, I probably should have. <laughs> never say never. Like, I'm also beating much... everything to death, so to be fair, I'm not really. Well, I was say, you really. <laughs> <laughs> I never run out of ammo. Wait, how does that you work? You have an ammo problem. Yeah, I'm confused. You're like, I, 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 I'm running out of ammo. Yeah. Oh wait, can I use? Oh, I can use this turret. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh, where are you? Wow, this oh rainbow. Oh my god, this scene right here is incredible with the rainbow over over the castle. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but there's a whole red carpet rainbow theme leading up to the castle with a rainbow Ooh. going through the castle. I haven't been there yet, but I'm excited. I'm shooting a big rock cannon right now, and it's just like... I am so rich. 
Oh. I'm, so I'm, so I'm so rich. I am just stacked <laughs> with well, gold just, right just, now. Just brag, why don't you? I will. <laughs> I, I just be doing I more than apparently. Uh, I don't know what I do with it, but I just. You're have not. So much you're money. not rich. I'm just rich. Oh my. Oh okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still using this. It's not very good. <laughs> Every time Paladin's I use it, I'm like, oh. Mike. yeah, Paladin Mike. He's the homie. There we go. Oh! Oh! Can I... I didn't realize I was getting hit while I was checking chests. I got in loot mode and just didn't even... Got in loot, yeah. I mean, but let's be honest. It's, it's, it's Tiny Tina's. There's gonna be loot everywhere. <laughs> I know. It's so distracting because I'm like, oh, purple. Yeah, literally. My oh, well, I mean, it's just... I've opened like, every treasure chest, knowing the really ammo. I'm really excited to uh, see what all, like, different cosmetics and stuff uh, you can unlock. Because you can go through and just completely change how your character looks uh, once we get to, like, ma the main village. Um. Yeah, I think there was a... I think even, like, when you're, you're shooting and things like that, there's, like, other, uh, like, things that you can get uh, from, uh, like killing bosses or killing individuals there's like cosmetic items and things that you can do that kind of like change stuff which i think is pretty cool um hey so i think uh i think now's a good time I and mean, we've been playing for for a bit now adam maybe you want to give them a, a little bit of an insight on maybe the other thing the, that we're giving away we're we going for the big thing now we're, yeah we're, yeah we're yeah let's the... let's, uh, <laughs> okay. let's let's talk about that a little bit you know we talked about all of the game codes that were given away a whole bunch of game oh, codes oh, on that thing. link but uh <laughs> But yeah, this is a pretty uh, this is a pretty exciting one. Do so you want to talk about that a little bit? As yeah. Die? So this is, as you die, oh okay, Adam's gonna die. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh good, good, good segue. Anyway. <laughs> good good segue. Um, yeah, uh, this is a great time, I guess, to mention we are also doing a treasure dre treasure 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 <laughs> treasure trove uh, treasure trove bundle. <laughs> can't talk. Uh, which is actually one of our biggest giveaways yet. It's it's really really incredible. It's uh, it's gonna be pretty much everything you need to upgrade your entire IQ experience from a key one a K100 keyboard to uh, a, a virtuoso headset, which you see me rocking here. Mine does oh, not have no. the RGB oh, on no. the headset. Oh oh no! Sorry, I here? almost died. Oh, just... <laughs> oh. Oh. My oh, bad. No. Continue, continue. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, oh no. <laughs> But yeah, there's also, uh, which is which is something that's really cool. We are also part of this giveaway, giving away our new 5000T RGB Vengeance RGB Pro DDR4, DDR4 case and setup in this giveaway as well, which is incredible. So it's entire IQ setup makeover from the PC to even everything peripherals to entire overview remake of your setup, which is it's just really incredible, uh, which is we're going to post the giveaway in the chat now. Uh, I apologize. It is DDR5. It's, it's DDR5 or DDR4, if you recall. I, I don't I'm, recall, but it's, I'm seeing, I would assume I, I would assume five. I'm assuming five. Greatest, though, yeah, it's gonna be. You I'm know. assuming five, but I'm seeing. I've heard four, so I'm a little confused on that one. But uh, it, yeah, I, it's, 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 it's 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 five, but regardless, five. it's kick ass. It's, so. it's, it's it's a total remake, oh, total this. makeover. But yeah, the link is in the chat uh, at originpc.com slash live so you guys can see it on chat wherever you guys are viewing from. Heck yeah. I have a unicorn. I'm following a unicorn right now. <laughs> I, have, I, I have, have a unicorn. unicorn. <laughs> I, have, I am following a in unicorn. In other news. <laughs> <laughs> what a segue. <laughs> We're really getting good at these, honestly. Yeah, yeah. What a, what a, what a time to be alive. <laughs> I have a unicorn. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't. Hey, don't be, jealous. don't be jealous of my unicorn. Look at him. I just like stopped the talk, so now I think I'm falling behind everybody. Look at the unicorns. <laughs> Yeah, meanwhile, you're probably way ahead. You're like, oh, hey. Dragon Lord I'm not at the unicorn yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not at the unicorn yet. Oh, okay. All right. Me it's fine. either. Me either. Maybe that's why he was dying so much, because he like, was running absolutely so far. absolutely why. Oh, there's a dice there. I need this dice. How do I get this dice? Oh, my unicorn disappeared. I told you, I'm probably the farthest behind, and it's because I need all the treasure. That's why I'm rich. Okay. I literally but go around the entire map. Dice, I think is really taking my time up. 
Ten so how how, how rich is rich? Loot. How rich are we talking? Yeah, like what's the? Uh, I've got seven k. Mm, okay, I got nine k. You... You're more what? rich. <laughs> I'm more rich. Now I'm more aggressive in my money search. <laughs> Peasant. <laughs> Take more time. Seven k. Yeah. Take no, more time to search. No. Almost nine k too. No. <laughs> So it's sorry. okay. I've got 7k as well, Vanessa, so... No, it doesn't make me feel better. Uh, yeah, well, deal with it. No. <laughs> Just kidding. I have 12k. That's a lot. No. I don't. Wait, Pictures that are getting hot. Pictures. Not gonna see you. Ooh, a dice. Found a dice. A bridge. There, they give me equipment. I just want money. Is this my boy Mike? Hey, Mike, what's popping, G? <laughs> Look at his little unicorn outfit. Oh no! Show me the way with your magical feet. <laughs> I'm at an encounter. I do not know what this is, but it was a side quest, I believe, called an encounter. Oh, well, this means you got, you got like a uh, in the tall grass, right? In the, tall what? the, the Pokemon yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes, exactly. I'm on a bridge. You know what I'm, I on meant. A br you know. I'm on a bridge too, so that's actually perfect. Every single time. Don't go into the long grass. <laughs> oh no, I'm too broke. Well. <laughs> Who needs money now? <laughs> but I can well, sell things. You're rich, I thought. Where do you sell things? Because that's little, the other uh, thing. I haven't sold vending machines At the vending machines. Oh, you sell the vending machines? Wait. Oh, the the going all the, top, the way back. I was today back, years old. Buy, and then sell. I was today years old when I learned that you can sell the things at the vending machines, <laughs> not buy things at the vending machines. Yeah, yeah. I only saw buy. That's why I was like, uh, no, I don't want to spend I'm not dying. No one saw me dying right now. I'm not dying. <laughs> hey, are you dying? <laughs> nope, nope. I self revived. I self revived. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't about. know. Everything's Delt, Delt fine here. Everything's fine. Now. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're good. Fine. How are things? <laughs> I'm just trying to get enough money to get this. I'm just selling all this random stuff. I'm probably like throwing away really good items, but I, I just want this. Please catapult. Yeah, you're still early on. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't going to be a final build by any means. Do I have enough? No! Right, so... All right. <laughs> no! <laughs> Just, I'm just selling it all. I'm just selling it all. Oh, it's a troll. It's a troll. Are you trolling me right now? <laughs> no. Sorry. Sorry. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Never going to be invited back. The troll is very angry. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. I can and do this it. was the first and last time that you saw Adam on yeah, stream. We did it. I don't know what happened to him. He's just gone. Yeah. He's gone. <laughs> Aha! Ah! You can't hit me with this house. No, don't, don't, don't move. Can I, can I buy this? No, no. Wait, wait, oh, wait. This is what I needed. Mechanics. Ah! This is what I wanted, right? I think that's what I bought. Uh, now I'm, now I'm confused. I get confused easily. Oh, look at this. Yes, yes. Mm, no. Yeah. You're right, this, miss. I think this is special to my character because uh, it's 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 Burr in his name. But do you guys have freezing abilities when you shoot people? Like you free you freeze them. I uh, one of my guns does. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. uh Berserker. Berserker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, I love that. It's so oh. cool how you can like freeze them and then <laughs> shoot them while they're frozen. Now I got like a fire rock. Summon the fire. <laughs> I just want to get to the other one where you just like slam down because like the spinning hammer is okay, but it kind of you get stuck in it. Oh, Paladin Mike's attractive. I'm not red. I'm not <laughs> just popped up on my screen. I was like, who are you? Oh my god, <laughs> Vanessa! No. Death saves are my best friend. Death oh. saves are officially my best friend. He was wearing a hat oh. when I first saw him. Oh, Paladin Mike is like, attractive. So well. <laughs> I don't have anything up my. Oh. Uh, uh, is there a segue there that. for like D and D crushes? <laughs> oh my. Oh Take my rock. Burn. Uh, money. You won't be needing I. Kill the troll. Oh, I've got like look at these oh, little I, town I guards. Oh, that's what I get for. <laughs> the town guards are helping. To see if it was up, and I didn't realize I was dying. Oh, Paladin Mike's a bad. He's just coming Lace? in and like destroying people. <gasps> it's a bomb. 
Oh no, another one. It's a bomb. <laughs> uh, oh no, that's a bomb. <laughs> it's a bomb. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every <laughs> time. That's a bomb. Big heart, big you could have learned the first time, but why? <laughs> have you There's tried? No fun have you tried so getting good? So many. No, please, we can talk about this. Oh no, oh no, oh, I say oh, that no. as a lie. Oh, no. No. no, no, I say that as a lie. Oh, enemies are my weakness! Death saver, my no, best. No, I bomb. can't melee you! That's a bomb! <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> what do I Run. <laughs> Run. That's what Damn. I do. We need you! Oh, I missed. We get the reference. He's also it. melee only! <laughs> Find it. Oh, God. This is what you wanted. It's this just... is what you asked for. <laughs> Are you not entertained? I'd actually use my gun. What is this? I shouldn't have got rid of my uh, like ice gun. I got really on. That thing was amazing. Uh... Ah, I also keep like yeah. accidentally like turning to Paladin Mike and like trying to beat him up, not realizing. I got to see a body. <laughs> when we were in co-op, uh, that's what nice I kept guy. doing. I was like, oh, wait, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, he's so Oh, alive. definitely. There's actually, so... like, a system, like, in place where it kind of, like, auto-locks on when you get really close. Hmm. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. You can see it if you're, like, if you're, like, slightly off and you go to melee him, it'll kind of turn your screen to... Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, this is one game that actually me. plays really well on uh, controller. Borderlands is one of my favorites to still play on controller, no matter if you're on PC or not. So, speaking of, of playing games historically, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Like, how did you get the name, or where did you come up with the name? That kind of thing. Cool. Uh, see, I feel like so many people have, like, cool things for their name and stuff. Um, my dad owns an ice company. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Hey, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. And so, like, when I was making my, like, Xbox gamer tag, I was just like, I don't know. I'm ice, and I like rock music. Like, I didn't, I oh, okay. put, like, one brain cell in on that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's all I this had. This will be my identity. <laughs> and, uh, I am now ice rock Because, like, when I first got into, I guess you'd say, like, the industry, um... I was helping run a military Facebook page as a like spouse representative, um, oh. and so I went under the alias. I was like, "Cool, like Ice Rocker. I'll just make that my name now." And <laughs> yeah, it, it just it just took off, and everyone really liked it. No, oh, that's awesome. You know, Funny I enough, just... though, like I'm also I'm from Texas. I don't like being cold. People also assume they're like, "What do you mean?" I'm like, I'm always in sweaters, and it's like 80 degrees outside. Like. I don't like being cold. Oh, man. <laughs> Anytime I'd go to, like, down to QuakeCon or whatever, I'd, like, walk outside and be like, I'm miserable. <laughs> it's, just, like, it's like two seconds after I walk outside, I'm like, oh, man, I was not ready for this. <laughs> Anytime people, like, would ask about uh, when Pack South was still happening, be like, bro, like, Rocker, what do I wear? I'm like, listen, I don't know how to tell you. <laughs> like, for me, it's still kind of cold. I'm still going to be bundled up. And then meanwhile they'll get down here and be like, whoa, no, 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 it's 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 75. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I like it like super chilly most of the time. But you know, oh, hey, I thought you were gonna say like, hey, I like ice and I rock. So you know, I just put the two together and I was like, there we go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like my dad is also like where I get a lot of my gaming stuff from. Um. So I guess that's also this like kind of I don't know. Save the world. I can only drag my feet to he likes it. So long. I get that. That makes sense. What he about... got me a shirt to wear on stream, and he wears my merch, and I was like, oh, okay, Aww. that's cool. That's we love that's we love proud cool. supportive parents. It took yeah. a while. Yeah, we love. Like, we had a lot of years of like, are you gonna go back and get that accounting degree? I'm like, well, I don't. Know. <laughs> 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 like, well, I've never been a strong counter, but uh. <laughs> But I am good at gaming, so... This is your fault! You're the one that gave me the Nintendo 64! What do you want you, from me? You did this to me! <laughs> you! I found my unicorn. I found my unicorn again. Yeah, like we, we talked night. about earlier, I started streaming on, on Mixer as well when it it first first came about. Yes. I'm sorry, troll. I'm sorry, troll. I didn't know you were the, the, the good old days? Nah, not the good old days. <laughs> hey, I had a lot of good times, though. That's the thing. Is like, yeah. I will say, I got to do so much cool stuff for them. Yeah. I was a part of so many events. Uh, being able to go to E3 was like 
I cried sitting at that Xbox. Come like, on. yeah. Brought, like, the, not the broadcast, the, um, Come on, the booth. show. The yeah. Oh, no, because I went to the, oh, the show. Man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Because no, I, I just remember, like, sitting back every year and, like, covering it for, like, the Twitter feed for the, the military page. And so, like, finally actually just sitting there and being like, man, they gave, they gave me a pass to come sit here and do it. It was just one of those, like, very, like, you made it moments. Surreal hey, moments, yeah. Yes. I, yeah. I remember that, right? Where is you, like, your first time, like, oh my gosh, I'm at E3. Yeah. You know, this is amazing. Right. There's all these great on things going like, on. Yeah, you're like, I'm God. official. Like, hey, <laughs> we did it. This is not like PAX, where it's like, you know, we're all just gamers and hanging out, and I love that atmosphere. But, like, I love industry events where you're, like, meeting other industry professionals and stuff like that. Like, because you're just with like minded, like, they get it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not just a hobby. Like, it's, we've made this our job. Like, we've made this part of our life. Yeah, and you've been, uh, and how really long cool. have you been with Corsair? Um, ooh, they, I don't know why they gave me a chance. <laughs> so I Whoa! Question, uh, listen, I question You Nick don't, you don't lot. lead like, with that, okay? <laughs> well, I was smaller at the time, so, like, I applied, and I was just, I was really excited. I remember thinking, like, because I just love, I love RGB stuff. I have an un godly amount of RGB Colors, stuff. Colors, pretty cool. And, uh... So I just remember being excited, but it was one of those like, oh, there's, you know, and, you know I'm just going to do it just for fun. And then I got it, and I just remember thinking, like, this is so exciting. Like, every time that I would, like, make a post or anything, oh, man, this is so cool. And that was, uh, it was actually, like, a year before my search post. I think it's been, like, three years now. I'm coming up on my five-year streaming anniversary. Oh, well, congrats. Oh, congratulations! So long. Happy anniversary! I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's also May the Fourth, which I always love. Oh, my first nice. yes. Star Wars stuff. So Please. I'm gonna ruin your tech immersion too. It's gonna be <laughs> great. Um, my first streams were done on a Dell all-in-one PC. Ooh. Wow! Like way back in the day. Huh? <laughs> Ooh! Wow! <laughs> I couldn't play games. Like the only game that I could play was Age of Empires 2. <laughs> it was like all I hey, could that's run. That's a good throwback though, that was a good game. Um, but since it was May the 4th for my first stream, I was like, cool, I'm gonna do like a Sith Lord makeup and we're just gonna hang out with like, it was like three of my friends. Literally just that thing where he's looking over the balcony and there's like three guys jumping up and down. That was me. And then that's where, I think that's where streaming cosplay stuff kind of just started. And I was like, oh, people like just sitting and hanging out and watching me make things. No, I mean, absolutely. And I, I mean, like, because I was a stay-at-home mom, so I was like, I just need people to talk to, because this, this toddler <laughs> just going to ask me for Cheetos, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's all she wants. <laughs> One track mind. <laughs> feed me. It was great, because, oh, like, I would work on cosplay, and I would just set her up, like, painting, and, like, her school stuff Aww. next to me, and, like, it would just kind of be, like, a little... Bonding thing. time. Bonding time. Uh. <laughs> No, absolutely. No, that's that's freaking awesome. Yeah, I mean, it, and some of that, like, there's all that, like, super creative, like, some of the, like, cosplay stuff out there. And I've seen some of the stuff you've done, and it's just, like, super good. I mean, like, you're, you're like, one-to-one -one almost of, like, okay, they it's, could, like, actually so be this though, person. Like, I, I look at, like, especially the people that I've met and looked at, like, I there's still people that, like, I look up to, and I'm like, no, it could be better. It could be more. Like, actually, my roommate that I just moved into... Um, that I talked about earlier, like we did the Borderlands cosplay, um, that was her first cosplay ever, was um, that one. And now we both uh, like do cosplay pretty regularly. And it's cool because like we've moved in together and now we get to have this entire like, so we have an awesome setup downstairs. We have two <laughs> 3D printers that are going. She's doing some really cool like Apex ones for PAX East. And it's just like, sometimes you have, like, I don't know. I'm, I don't like boasting a lot about the quality because I always like think it's not enough. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have people like, "Oh, what do you like? What do you mean?" Like, oh, okay, it's, it's pretty. Mean, cool. Yeah, they look great. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I think, it, but the thing with with cosplay, it's like you know, it's it's about you having fun, right? I don't think I anyone always... at any convention is ever going to come up and be like, no. You know, some of the you best look, ones yeah. are the more casual ones. Mm -hmm. Like the like you talked about Fallout one. That's one of my favorite ones to wear. I took it to every convention. It's so comfortable. Like I <laughs> just why. made like a little bit of armor pieces on it and stuff. But like it was just like, and I love cosplaying at conventions too because then you get you get stopped and you get to have a conversation about it. Mm -hmm. It's literally just the perfect conversation starter. And I do the same thing with I wear gaming merch constantly. 
like, with everything. Uh, so, because I just like having that, like, ask me about my shirt. I like having stuff in my background, so I'm like, in my streams, I'm like, please, if you see something back here, ask me about it, please. It probably means I could sit here and talk about it. Yeah, I completely get that. I have, I have respect for people that, like, go, like, you know what I mean? Like, they have the layers upon layers upon layers, and they're, like, at packs, and they're just, like, all day walking around with this, like, all of this stuff on, and I'm like, that is... That's a lot. Commitment, uh, yeah. and I respect it. And I always like, hey, let's take a photo, and then like, who are you? I want to tag you because like, you know, you could just tell. Uh, I think the last PAX I saw you at was like West, like three years ago, and I think you were doing, um, I want to say Rainbow Six. You were like cosplaying yeah. Rainbow Six things. Um, I do Valkyrie from Rainbow Six. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's really good. I And the other thing that's cool from my side is I, I've done a few small things, mostly like I did like a, a Sith photo shoot. One of our, our photography guys here was super great. And we did this whole photo shoot and it was amazing and I loved it. Um, but but the way I do it, because I'm not that creative is, is I do cool custom PCs like the Butt Stallion one we're doing. <laughs> Another segue. Uh, we have the, uh, the wonderful Butt Stallion PC. Uh, that's kind of the way that I cosplay, or at least Corsair cosplays. Um, and that was done um, by... <laughs> I'm getting some looks on my side of like, how dare you? Uh, <laughs> like that. But yeah, I mean, we we work with like the world's best modders to do some of these crazy, insane one-off builds. Um, by the way, Paladin Mike's just going in here. I'm just watching him just beat these guys down. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> swoon, Vanessa. But uh, yeah, I, I uh, was really excited when we kind of came up with the concept for this. And obviously, Butt Stallion is one of those iconic characters we've talked about previously and uh yeah chat you get a chance to win that uh and it's top of the line spec'd out so i mean you're gonna be able to play anything and everything you want uh on that so uh again links are in the chat make sure you check it out um there's a lot of good information and details there uh i'm gonna die to these wyvern bombers no don't die don't die i'm trying not to its own pedestal honestly yeah whoever wins so that's gonna be very lucky <laughs> As someone who's never played uh, Borderlands, I was really confused when I saw Corsair tweeting about a butt stallion, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, did, what? what is this? Did they mean to say that? <laughs> was this a I'll typo? It. <laughs> <laughs> no one's saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> My friend! Uh, <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> That's gotta be, yeah, there's a lot of just really weird, quirky things that happen. And <laughs> hey, let me tell you what, that was a fun conversation for me to have with some people. I'm like, I hey bet. Guys, we have this PC. Oh, what are we going to call this PC? Well, <laughs> funny story. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're going to want to sit down for this. Yeah, you're gonna sit down for this. <laughs> Uh, but everybody laughed. I mean, there's so many people here, you know, like all of us and, and, you know, elsewhere. We're all gamers, right? I mean, we do this for a reason, kind of like what you were saying earlier. We're all in here. We're passionate gamers. We love gaming and the industry, and that's why that's why we do it. We want to make amazing things to help people game. So uh, so it's it was received very, very well. But, you know, there was a few people that were like, butt stallion? And I'm like, why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> like, why? Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> Play the game. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm not horsing around. <laughs> Ayo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ayo. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right. I hate it. Yeah, well. Did you, get, did you get looked for that one? No? Yeah? Uh, yeah, they've been shooting me looks. I, I, again, this might be the last time I ever do this, guys. <laughs> so just, Everyone, I'm make kidding. sure you say hello and goodbye to Adam. <laughs> no, this has been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it. Um, it's, been, mm -hmm. uh, it's been a good time. Uh, I've been just destroying. I'm almost to the. Which, by the way, you said earlier they just threw a sword at me. Um, I, I, you said earlier that you were at the unicorn and like with the rainbow. Yeah. I just got there. Yeah. Like, I, I like just the unicorn got and the there. rainbow. <laughs> Maybe that's you why you kept dying. I'm really just kind I, of like watching. I think that's why. <laughs> said I was oh, gonna backseat no. game, but here I am. Here I am. Oh, Check that out. Oh, oh, I hit it on Paladin Mike though. Not good. I do. I, I've run Keep a lot alone. of people through Borderlands for their first time, and I always, like, I do, I get that way, where I'll just kind of, like, put my hands on the end of my, my face, and I'm just like, yeah, go talk no, to no, that no. person. Yeah. Go pick that up. No, you walk forward. You do it. I want to hear your character interact with you. Like, whoever clicks it. Like, you're going to do great, honey. <laughs> it's like, no, no, don't take that. Equip that. Change that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go this way because I think there's going to be a dice. And I want a dice. I want another D20 to add to my collection. <gasps> what is this? Can I do anything with this? Oh, I can't. 
I should probably get another uh, level <laughs> no, up, I though. Can't. No, I can't. Oh, what is this? Oh my god, I did level a up. A second spell. <gasps> nice, actually. Sweet. Oh my god, you just threw an axe at me. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right. I'm over here just trying to snipe. All of a sudden, axe. Yeah. No. Earlier, they literally they threw like a, uh, a, a like a sword at me from like long distance. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? Okay. Now I can pick everything up. What did you drop? Um, Adam, do you want to yeah, mention no, again real quick about uh, our um, our charity initiative and what we're doing there like for the people that uh, maybe have just joined or joined after you had originally talked about it? Yeah. So. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the number right this time. It wasn't a hundred, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Corsair and Elgato, we are teaming up um, to help with the unfortunate situation that is uh, going on over there in Ukraine. Um, we are matching up to a hundred thousand, a <laughs> hundred thousand dollars in donation that goes towards all the uh, children that are, are located in, in, in Ukraine to, you know, help get them out of the situation that they are currently in and. We are we are really grateful and lucky to be able to be helping out in a in such an unfortunate time over there. I'm 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 currently dying as I'm saying this and, and flashing red. Which is really I was gonna say I see this red which flashing is, all over your face is, while you're trying to like hold it together. Really, really good timing. <laughs> I'm holding it together here. Uh, oh my god, there's a lot going on on my end. <laughs> Butt stallion. But oh, yeah, obviously, God. obviously a great cause, uh, something that we're, we're very committed to um, for our, our colleagues, coworkers and friends. So if you can, we'd really appreciate uh, any any and all donations. Uh, again, matching 100K, I think, you know, it's it's incredible. Um, you know, let's let's do some good in the world. Um, so uh, but for now, uh, I need to talk to this butt stallion unicorn. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a death save currently. Oh, love death saves. Love death saves. <laughs> You can do it. Yeah. Just roll well. You got it. I miss my unicorn. It was much simpler times. It's <laughs> also a uh, Pandora corn, not a unicorn. Pandora corn. It's a Pandora corn. She has two horns, actually. Oh yeah. Oh. What what <laughs> other lore can you give us? Yeah. Wait, Hold on. Lore master. <laughs> it's not even Tiny Tina's. I don't even know how she got it. That's an interesting lore fact that I do want to know. Is I don't know how Tiny Tina got so like possession and obsessed with Butt Stallion because uh, Handsome Jack in the second one, in the one of the, like the very early missions that you play, he actually talks about it. He's like, hey, like I'm gonna name this after you, but it's like you know he throws some like really insults. To Borderlands Two was pretty crazy with the with the cussing and stuff uh, so, he, he throws some other insults and then he's like you know what i'm i'm gonna name it after you and i'm gonna call it butt stallion hey. uh and so that's, that's it's literally named after the character that you play. Ah. <laughs> what, what what is that what is that what is this? oh what thank god i don't i don't know how she got it from him or like i don't know but it's very tiny tino so i got it yeah you know it's it's you know Multiple horns, majestic magical this one rainbows. Doesn't poop guns though, so that's a change. So it, far, it does what? <laughs> oh my god, the pole can jump! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Guys are so fast. He used to. She's a queen now. Uh oh, it's a, <laughs> she's she above that now. <laughs> oh my god! I just all, I love how you said that so passively. Like she used to poop guns. <laughs> Not anymore. The more casual aspects. No. Oh my god. Can I climb this? It's my glasses. I'm uh I'm just trying to uh keep keep things rolling, but uh I, I think it's pretty crazy. Uh, like, one, I'm in a pretty freaking awesome environment uh, playing right now. Uh, <laughs> anytime you look at me, you can see I'm, I'm basically in the Corsair game room. Uh, and yeah, at the, mm -hmm. that was a bomb. Uh, at, at Corsair, bomb. we have a game room. Uh, and uh, there's a whole bunch of kick-ass PCs here. Um, and uh, also, I know that uh, the guys over there at Origin, Adam, you guys have that freaking sick setup uh, all squared away yeah. to kind of showcase all of this. Um, but uh, I just want to say that it's pretty great that every time you die, it's like flashing red yeah. and like it's super cool because and that like uh... weirdly fuels me uh, <laughs> and i'm not I'm, i feel like i shouldn't say something because i'm gonna jinx myself but i haven't died once uh, oh okay 
Neither have I. But I said I that I'm power. Oh, oh god! Now, the, now it's happening. Now it's happening. IQ integration, yep. and I'm not gonna lie, it really does like. I, it really enhances the game. That sounds so like. It does. It enhances the gameplay. I think my favorite was the uh, integration for Blair Witch Project. Yeah. Yeah, that one was uh, that really was cool. horrifying. Oh, I let. <laughs> oh man. But like it was supposed to be horrifying, so it really like that created the atmosphere for that game. I literally don't think it would have been as good without it. Yeah, that game. Well, yeah. so much fun. Do you play? Ah! Like I've. I've played a lot of uh, different, you know, like, spooky games uh, in my day. That's why, like, you know, with Tiny Teens, it's like, hey, this is, you know, pretty <laughs> pretty the opposite. I don't have to worry about it. What yeah, is I was going to say, hold on. <laughs> what, what is, what am I looking, what is this? I don't know. <laughs> it's like a little picture. Yeah, I remember at, I think it was oh, PAX the, yeah. East, when you're like, oh, yeah, can you sit down and, and check out this game that we had? And it was the Blair Witch one. And I was like, this is absolutely <laughs> terrifying. Like, especially yeah, when it would yeah. just start turning red because I was like, there was like whatever around. And I was just like, yeah. No. Oh, gosh. No. Oh. no, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better than that. Also, I hate Thank you. Thank you, next. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Calm down, Ariana. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Had to reference it. <laughs> Oh my God! There's a Cheeto blocking the way. This is I amazing. saw the Cheeto. How oh, will you? The, I saw it earlier. I wanted to mention it. I thought the Cheeto was incredible. I'm hungry. Let me in. Insert me. Let me in. Cheeto. There's gonna be a thing here. Oh, we're good. We're good. I'm fighting a lot of spider crabs. I'm just curious in how that's a combination of spider crab. It's part crab, part spider. Spider. spider? Yeah, interesting one there. Shatter grave morrow. This looks spooky. Oh yeah, we're in a spooky part. All right. Love that. Very excited. There's so many Love spider that. crabs. I'm <laughs> <laughs> spider crabs. Butt stallion. It's any no, constellation. It looks really cool. It looks really <laughs> cool, but it's really hard. There's so many spider crabs. I'm sorry for your loss, but <laughs> <laughs> it looks really You're cool. You're doing great. <laughs> You're doing fine. Everything is fine. I'm fine. What do you do you not want a villain to fight? Oh, huh, let's see. <laughs> Suck up. Please reload. Oh, I can't. I'm getting like, there it goes. Can't afford that. I'm broke. Oh, these are for specific classes. Yeah. None of these are mine. Yeah. Why are these equipped? That's usually how it works. <laughs> We're doing fine. Let's do this one, I guess. I'm very bad about like, I'll just see one and I'm like, oh, good stats, put it on. And then I realize. That's literally what I was doing. And, and it's like, this is for Stabomancer. I'm like, even the guns oh, would have like him. special perks that were like per class. Shooter in the face a lot. And so yeah, yeah, yeah. literally, like, you're just not using the best parts of some of the guns. So, yeah, every, everything's all like, uh, read. oh, there he goes. Aha! I shot him. But yeah, it's all like, oh, let's amplify what you need. And I think that's pretty freaking Ooh. awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a ghost now. That's cool. Especially because all of the classes are so different. Yeah. I'm still oh, and I think waiting that's, on my skeleton. That adds to like replayability, right? Where it's like, oh, I've, I've gone through and done it this way, but what does it look like if I'm a stabomancer? Yeah, so I know a lot of people who, especially like diehard Borderlands folks, um, like that's mm -hmm. the thing. It's just like, oh, you have a maxed out for each character, right? No, I don't play anyone other than Soldier Class. I can't do it. <laughs> like, we talk, you talk about only playing dark, like people like, yeah. Every time I'm like, hmm, I'm going to create a different character. Nope. Hi, would you like to play most for the fourth time? Sure. I guess that's what we're doing. <laughs> it's... I just get comfortable with the build, and I'm just like, yeah, I'll do it. Isn't it? Isn't care. it like that? Uh, the thing you were saying earlier, Vanessa, was like that. Is that constant meme of like, oh, I could play a different thing in like Elder Scrolls, and it's like that Stealth Archer. It is. <laughs> yes, I was going to say that actually. Of like, you know, maybe this time I'll. Literally five hours into the game, stealth Arthur. Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Could be so many different things. Sitting but... there with the nightingale armor, like, how did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> Look at my life decisions. What, what led me to this moment? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I think we're slowly gearing towards the end of our time here. Um, Sag. You know, uh, so I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit more um, quickly. Adam, if you want to talk a little bit about the couple of uh, giveaways we have just as like a last kind of shot just to kind of remind people what's out there what they can win and you know get mm -hmm. links and stuff for them 
Yeah, so we are doing, uh, we've been doing giveaway codes all stream long. We have uh, 20 that we've been giving away, which you can get a Tiny Tina Wonderlands PC copy to the game, uh, which is really incredible. I've had I'm having a really good time playing it, so I definitely do recommend you guys check it out with that link, which should be posted in the chat now. Um, and then we also have the, I'm going to say <laughs> the treasure, what is <laughs> the treasure, the tre treasure, ah, trove. The treasure, treasure trove, it's, like it's, it's, a, it's a tongue, it's a tongue twister, it's a tongue twister, <laughs> the treasure trove bundle, which is pretty much the entire IQ makeover from the Vengeance CDR5 PC to, uh, the Virtuoso headset, the keyboards, amazing stuff there. Um, and you also, oh my God, I just got grabbed by a mimic, baby mimic. What is that? Um, and then we, <laughs> what, is, what is that? It's we're like not giving away baby mimics, chat. Uh, it, just it, it was, we're not giving away mimics, but it just sucked me in with his tongue. And I was like, I was not ready for that. Although uh, that could be a cool PC case idea. <laughs> True. What a pin and, in that one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, very good pivot. And then we were also <laughs> giving away <laughs> the custom, I'm calling it a unicorn, the custom unicorn PC. Butt Call stallion. It it so butt Call stallion. It it butt is. stallion. Butt stallion. I was letting, I was letting Adam. I was, gonna let, I was going to let Adam. <laughs> Adam really loved saying it, so I wanted to let Adam, Adam say butt stallion. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I'm just adding clarity, okay? But yeah, links will be in the chat, guys. So uh, now is your basically last chance to get in there and enter. Uh, and I'll do one final uh, call out for the 3070 Ti bundle because I know so many people are trying to get GPUs and we have very limited quantity, US, but, uh, US only, but uh, you know, now's your chance. There'll be a link in the chat for that as well. Um, so let's, uh, let's uh, go over to Vanessa real quick. Uh, Vanessa, I just want to have a quick question about how your, uh, your experience was on Borderlands <laughs> and when, what you thought playing. <laughs> that was your first um, time. <laughs> I'm, I'm currently staring. The reason right before you had cut to like all the contests, I was like, oh, it's because I just saw all this army running towards the castle and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's really awesome. Like I, like I said, I had never played Borderlands just because I, 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 I wasn't. I don't know. It just it never fell into my realm of playing games. Like usually, I'm in the Fallout, um, Skyrim. Uh, what did I just get recently? I don't remember. But it's just I, I, it never came within my realm. And so like this time playing, especially with the tight end with D and D, it's been really fun. I'm having a really good time. I'm probably going to be up very late playing this. Hey, that's good to hear. We've, yeah. we've done it. Oh, no, bust. Oh, no, bust. <laughs> we've done it. We've done another one. <laughs> and then uh, I guess we'll, we'll finish with our guest of honor, um, Ice Rocker. If you want to just uh, maybe uh, say a couple words and then uh, also maybe tell people where they can find you streaming and things like that. I'm dying to a mimic, so we'll stop that right now. We'll just, we'll just pause it. It'll be there when I get back. <laughs> or not. Maybe I delete the whole character and just don't do it. Uh, <laughs> no, thank you guys so much. I had a really good time playing. Uh, you know, thank you. Yeah, thanks to 2K for having me, for having all of us, for putting this whole thing together for this game. Uh, it's just been really amazing. Um, you guys can find me. I stream every day of the week. Um, uh, Twitch.tv slash Ice Rocker. Twitter is that Ice Rocker. Uh, basically, if you can't find Ice Rocker, I probably put that in front of it. Pretty easy. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, but, uh, thank you. No, yeah, thank yeah. you so much thank for joining so us. Thank you so much. Uh, this was a blast. Uh, thank you to all of our guests. Thank you, chat, for, for coming and hanging out for a few hours uh, while we checked out Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. We had a blast. Special thank you to 2K and Gearbox, obviously. Um, uh, but I think that's going to do it uh, for us. We're going to close out the stream there. Um, and, uh, yeah. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thanks, guys.